So, Nico, um, tomorrow night uh, you have a chance to close out this series. Can you just maybe talk to the importance of maybe doing that, uh, not giving the Rangers any type of momentum at all? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> really important. It's, uh, it's a chance and uh, first chance, but we got to take it. And uh, we want it, and uh, I think we're prepared for it. So uh, we're excited for tomorrow. Everyone talks about the speed of this team to generate offense. Can you talk a little bit about maybe the speed of you guys to defend and how you guys have shown that these you know these last three games? Yeah, I mean we've I think we've been pretty good team all around the season uh, defensively and uh, built some trust in the regular season in our uh, D zone structure and uh, we know exactly when everybody is at the right spot, it's going to be tough to create some chances again against us. And I think uh, we just got to execute it. Um, I've asked a few of the players, and they can't seem to come up with an answer, so I'm going to ask you. Um, <laughs> um, well, you'll have, maybe you'll have an answer. Uh, what do you make of the, of the road teams and the success that they've had in, in the playoffs so far? Um, yeah, I guess. Is there, more Same comfort? With me. is there more comfort on the road? Or it's hard. I mean, it's it's not that you're not like you're trying different things. Like it's I guess you are just a little bit more uh, cautious with your game, uh, a little bit more patience. But um, yeah, it, it is a tough question. The crowd, the crowd rooting against you does that kind of motivate you too a little bit? No. You focus on the game. Uh, <laughs> not really. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> we talked a lot about, <laughs> we talked a lot about the uh, defensive zone, obviously, but what about defense in the offensive zone? Because even, for, for example, when you just chip the pucks into the Rangers zone, you're then hounding them when they're trying to break out. It's disrupting their breakout. So how important is basically all facets of the defensive zone? Really area? important, um, especially against a team like the Rangers. You, you got to have good puck placements uh, if, if they're gapped up. And uh, you turn it over on the blue line, it can be really dangerous. Uh, it can be dangerous really fast, and uh, we I think we understand that now. And uh, it's just playoff hockey too, so uh, we just gotta keep keep doing that. Nico, what can you say about uh, Timo's physicality in this series, and how much how much momentum that's that's given you guys? Big, big for us. I mean, he's a uh, he's obviously a big boy, and uh, he goes in there and like. They hate him, so that's a good that's a that's a good sign. Uh, he's he's definitely big for us so far. How has this experience just been for you these past five games? Fun and uh, want more. Thanks, Thank Nico. Thanks. <clears throat> Polly, what has it sort of been like seeing the team go from starting down to to putting these three wins together and? What type of you know group effort that's been for all of you? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been great. Uh, we made some adjustment after uh, game one and two, and it's been working. And uh, everybody's on board. Everybody's playing great hockey. Uh, but there's still uh, you know room for improvement a little bit. And uh, and we like I said, we we got to be a little bit better tomorrow. And because I'm sure uh, Rangers going to be better too. You talk about making quick adjustments. Not every team is capable of making those adjustments in such a small, ser short series and being able to see that come to fruition. What is it about this group that's be able to embrace that type of change? Yeah, because I think uh, everybody uh, wanted to learn and wanted to get better. And uh, we talk about it after game second. And like I said, everybody uh, doing their job, uh, we're sticking our to our plan, to our structure, and it's been working. What do you know about winning a fourth game in a series that everyone in that locker room needs to know who hasn't been through this before? Yeah, I think every, everybody who been through would say it's the hardest thing to 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 win that game, and I can I can say the same thing. You know, Rangers going to be uh, you know ready uh, ready to win uh, on their home ice, and uh, it's going to be the hardest one. So we need to be, like I said, even better than yesterday. And what's the motivation there to win that game six? What's, you know, why do you need to win game six? To win Stanley Cup. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, to go into another round, beat the Rangers. I think it's, that's, that's good. good motivation. Under, under what, what do you change about your routine in the playoffs? I mean, it's just every year, it's just a whole new level. Not much. I'm just playing the, I feel like I'm playing the same way. But, yeah, not much. Andre, everyone talks about 
the, the speed of this team to create offense. But can you talk a little bit about the speed of this team to defend against the opposition? Um, yeah, I, I mean, that's uh, what we talk about, that, uh, you know, uh, good defense leads to, to good offense. And I think in this case, I think that's what we can see. You know, first couple of games we're, we're playing, you know, kind of, up and down with with the Rangers, with their skill power and those uh, you know superstar they have, it's it's pretty hard. So we need to uh, get hard on them and uh, play good defense. And yeah, we like I said, we're playing uh, with speed now, which been great. What, what can you say maybe about the the road teams, Andre? Why have the road teams been so successful in the playoffs this year? I have no idea. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, we're just uh, we're just playing our game. I don't think. Uh, I don't think it changed anything. Uh, I don't think we lost, you know, first two games because we were at home and we were, you know, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Andre, there seemed, even when the team was down to nothing in the series, there seemed to be a belief even in the locker room following the game that you guys had the ability to come back. Where does that belief come from? Yeah, we did believe because we know we uh, what's in our locker room, how this team can play good, and uh, we know we didn't the first two games. So. Uh, that was that was big for us that we believe in each other and we know what's what's in our locker room. What are the differences that you guys have made? Maybe the adjustments or buy-in that has been different. Yeah, uh, like I said, learning experience a little bit. Uh, we we knew after a game two we can play like that and and win playoff series. So we we changed the things a little bit and everybody, like I said, is uh, doing the right things. Thank you. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Good. Good very thanks. good. Thank you. So, um, talk a little bit about maybe the importance of ending this series Saturday. What do you think? Yeah, whenever you have a chance, uh, it's when you want to play your best game. Um, you know, the longer it goes, you just never know. And, and uh, game sevens, it's a toss-up always. It doesn't matter what the teams are. So, uh, our focus is on game six, and our focus is to win that game. And is that the motivation to, to not have this series go to go to seven games? Is that your motivation entering Game Six? Well, I just you know motivation enough. I I feel like it's been a hard series. Uh, we crawled our way back. We have the three two lead now. Um, you know, I don't think we need any motivation. Um, it's a great team over there. We when you have a chance to close out against a really good opponent, uh, you want to take take advantage of that opportunity and like I said, play your best game. Everyone talks about the speed and the ability to create offense of this team, but talk a little bit about the speed and the ability to defend that what this team has done. Yeah, it's um, it's one of our strengths. I think I think we make it really hard for other teams when we're on top of on top of the puck and and uh, tracking back uh, and uh, are positionally sound. Uh, I feel like we've had that on display the last. Uh, last three games. Uh, there's still areas that we can be better at, for sure. Uh, some of the areas we looked at today, and and uh, but um, nobody's perfect uh, overall. Uh, you know, we've, we're happy with how we played the last three games. We gave ourselves a chance to win, and, and uh, you know, we're looking to be better uh, on Saturday because we know they're going to be. What do you make of the the road teams, the, the winning percentage in the playoffs this year? Is any rhyme or reason? What do you think? Yeah, it's hard to comment. It's, I guess it's not People would say it's not normal, and, and but um, I don't know. It's, it sounds so cliche, right? Like that, you know. You just do things a little bit simpler on the road and all that stuff. But um, I don't know. It's we, you know, we had our backs against the wall. We were down two nothing in the series, uh, going there um, overtime game. I I think we we just played really really well and we gave ourselves a chance and and then uh, you know we got guys who can make those big plays and and um, you know it's we're here now it's 3-2 and and uh, you know we're just like I said we're focused on playing our best game of the series tomorrow. Eric how important can camaraderie amongst an entire team be such a difference maker in the postseason? Yeah it's vital I think that um, you look at the teams that win and go far. You know they, <clears throat> they're a family, and and uh, and I feel like we've, you know, we've built something pretty special here um, this year, and and we have a great locker room, we have a great group of guys, and and um, I think it shows on the ice. We have fun with each other, and and we're happy for each other. I think that's a big part. Is that a real 
a real thing where you want to block shots more for people, you know, when everyone gets along, when everyone sort of has that family feeling, you want to go that extra mile? Um, yeah, it's just the willingness to, to, to do, do a little extra to win. It's, uh, you know, it's not for the next guy. It's just for the whole team. It's for everybody who works for the New Jersey Devils. It's, it's uh, you know, all those things are bigger than bigger than any individual and, and um, you know I feel like we've we've grown in that aspect and and you know you see our superstars how they've you know started to play you know you see how Jack's playing above the puck you know how he's defending um, you know he, he just wants to win and, and uh, that that goes a long way it says a lot about his character and, and leadership and and putting all individual stuff aside and, and he's still able to create and, and be dangerous so I mean um, I feel like that's been a big step for us. Can you, can you speak to your NHL journey, a, a guy that uh, has been in the league for as long as you have and has made the playoffs every season? I mean, I bet that's probably something you don't take for granted, huh? No, I, I don't. And it's, um, you know, when I came here and it was, you know, talk about wanting to get to the playoffs, it's, um, that's, that's my expectation wherever I go, whatever team it is, is to be in the postseason and, and have a chance and opportunity to, to play for the Stanley Cup. and. And uh, you know that's my motivation. Um, and that's my ultimate goal, and, and uh, you know just trying to be my best self about the career. I just don't really know where to start. <laughs> <laughs> you you embrace the playoffs, don't you? Not every player does. Why do you? Um, I'm not going to comment on other players, but like I said, it's um, I always look at it as an opportunity to to win and. And um, I don't want to take it for granted ever. Uh, you never know when it's going to be your last game. You never know when it's going to be your last opportunity. Um, so, um, you know, just it's it's a learning curve for all of us. You know, I there's been years where I'm not, you know, happy about my playoff performance, and and then you got to think about it all summer long. And and um, it's um, I I believe in this team. I think we have a really good group. Um, so. You know, I'm trying to be the best version of myself uh, for for our team, and, and um, big game tomorrow. Eric, what's it like having your little guy follow along? I know he's uh, at MSG. He's here. I see you. I mean, that must be as a dad, as a hockey player. Is it different when you've got a little guy watching you in a way? Uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's quite special. We we have a special relationship. Uh, a lot of credit to my wife. It's you know, it's not easy to trek over to MSG and. <laughs> And all of this, and he's he's on quite a different schedule than most two-year-olds. But <laughs> you know, it's just every time he's on the glass, every time I see him in the building, it's uh, it's special to me. It's important to me, and and just to see how much he enjoys it. You know, our car rides back home after games. It's you know he's chanting. He knows he knows the chants. He knows knows everything about the game, and it's it's quite impressive. And and um, are you his favorite pl player? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It's just you know he's learned. We've we've learned a few of the names now. It's you know he knows uh, Dawson Mercer and Jack Hughes and and uh, then it's Daddy and but we've gone through all the all the players and and you know he yeah he loves it. It's great. There was a little momentum boost as as Timo's uh, game and, and physicality added to the series. <clears throat> yeah, I think he's. I think he's hard to handle. Um, I think he's a problem. He goes to net hard. He's hard to play against. Uh, you know, I, I know he's maybe he's frustrated a little bit that he it hasn't gone his way yet. But that's it's another thing. Is like when we get him going too. You know, it's it's another level we can get to. And but he's playing great for the team. And that's you know another guy who just you know I I think he's doing the right things and and he's helping our team. What have you respected about Lindy and what he's been able to provide? In in what aspect? Um, well, just. As from coaching in general, uh, the X's and O's, that type of thing, between periods, maybe here and there, what has been able to, to do for the team in general? I think the biggest thing uh, has been, you know, when we were down in the series, just the belief in our group, uh, you know, just uh, reiterating of how good of a team we are and, and where we can get to. And and uh, and I, I think that's been great for us, uh, just kind of, like I said, reiterating that you know we're far from from done and and uh we're you know this series is there for us uh you know if we can get to a certain level and and you know i, I think he's been able to boost some confidence into our group and 
and I think that's been really huge. We go back on some stuff that we were talking about yesterday when it comes to Eric, uh, Eric Halla, and just what he's brought. Um, he's leading your team in points. He's tied with Jack at goals. What is it about the determination that he brings in playoff hockey? Well, I think it's a veteran player that, you know, has, has been in the wars before and understands that you only get so many opportunities. And uh, I think he likes this, this time of year. Uh, he likes the moment he's in and uh, he likes our team. And, you know, he wants to be a guy that everybody can count on. How big is that camaraderie amongst the team, particularly at this time of year, whether it's, you know, making desperation plays for each other? How big a part does that play in success in hockey and particularly the postseason? You no, know, I think in hockey it's everything. Uh, you know, enjoying some of the big plays inside the game, whether it's the hits, whether it's the block shots, uh, uh, the big saves, even, you know, the fight where everybody's up on the bench and so, you know, it's that time of year where you know that all the little things can make the biggest difference. I mean, do you always talk about the next game? How important is it to close this series out on Saturday? Well, you know, we want to continue playing well. I think, you know, like I said last night, we had a little bit of puck luck for us. Uh, it got us off to a good start. It's important that we play, we play our game, we play it well, and we know if we do, we're going to give ourselves a good chance to win a hockey game. Everyone talks about the speed of this team to create offense, but can you maybe elaborate a little on the speed defensively, what, what you've shown getting back, doing the things, using that speed defensively? Yeah, I think equally as important, making sure you're back, making sure you're taking lanes, making sure that you know when they cross the blue line, we have numbers. So uh, we take their time and space away. Uh, and the speed part of that, is very important because you got to get there in a hurry. If we give them that extra second, we know they have good players. We know that extra time is going to allow them to make better plays. Lindy, Going what, back what to what can you say about uh, Timo's physicality this series, and you think, think it's frustrating the, the Rangers a little bit? To talk about. Well, I, you know, I think he's he's using his body to, you know, get to the front of the net uh, to ward off the opponents. Uh, on a physical sense, uh, his game has been good. Um, you know, I think he's had 18, 19 shots in this series. Nothing's really gone in for him, but uh, you keep doing the right things. Uh, he's bringing a component that is hard to play against. For Halla, are you happy to see him get rewarded in the playoffs? Because he seemed like he had a regular season where he didn't quite get rewarded for all the great opportunities he had. Yeah, there was a period of time where a lot of great opportunities didn't go in. Now it seems like uh, they're going in. Yeah, I'd probably rather see them go in now than the regular season. but. <laughs> There was times during the regular season that uh, key moments in games that, you know, you thought you know, he just missed a great opportunity. But again, I think he's there's a little added incentive. You know, playoffs are a thing he doesn't want to take for granted, and he wants to show that he can be a guy that can be counted on. What do you do? So how adaptable is the team when you're able to throw things like a one-two-two at them? They're able to execute protecting leads and such like that. And sometimes there's, there's little wrinkles that you don't usually use in the regular season that you might go to in the playoffs. Well, we've been at 1-2-2 two, two the whole season almost. So um, I think our details have been a lot better with it. Um, you know, sometimes we get a little bit more aggressive with it. Sometimes we're a little bit more passive. I think uh, right now the details of making sure we're above and cutting people off has been as good as it's been all year long. What, what do you use as motivation, the carrot, for this team entering this, this game six? You don't have to play game seven. Uh, that's the motivation. Um, you know, you've got you've to enjoy this moment. Um, really, there's, we can talk about starting out in day one in training camp and what we talked about was playoffs. Now we're talking about a game that can get us to the next round of playoffs. Uh, the motivation is there. Uh, you know, the prize that we're going after, uh, we need to get one more win in this series, and we're going to try our hardest to get that tomorrow night. What did you see out of Siegenthaler last night to increase physicality, get the, mixing it up a little bit as well? I, I think I just saw a guy that was ramped up for playoff hockey. Uh, his game has been real good these last uh, two or three games, and 
Uh, you look at uh, the physicality part, you look at uh, the offensive part, uh, he's really been a, a big player for us in these last three games. Nice to see Mercer come up big last night. Yeah, you know, and I think it's what we said that, you know, sooner or later somebody was going to break through and uh, secondary scoring was going to be important. I thought actually that combination of, of Timo and, and Dawson uh, were in on some really good quality opportunities. As, as this series has progressed, have you seen this team learning how to win in these type games, this type of setting scenario? Well, again, I'll reference early in the year where we looked at certain games as being we're going to have to play really well defensively and away from the puck, and we did uh, early in the season. Uh, the Colorado games, the uh, you know uh, games that we knew we were playing a, a pretty dynamic offense. Uh, so we passed the test, and we're going to have to continue to learn, you know, how to pass the test going through the playoffs. Linda, you talked about your your you know player like excitement uh, before the series. How how is it now? You know, knowing that uh, you're you're in the heat of this this race here. It's fun. I mean, it's there's really no better place to be right now. And you know, as coaching staff, we want to enjoy just as much as the players are. For players who thrive in the playoffs, it's a different element than the regular season. What separates those guys? Uh, not to compare what Eric's doing to say Claude Lemieux, but Claude Lemieux in the postseason was always a different player. He seemed to embrace it. What what do those players do? <sighs> You know, that's a good, it's a great question. Uh, they get their play to a to a, a different level. Um, you know, they feed off energy in the game. They feed off sometimes a, a big play inside the game, whether it's an assist or a goal. Uh, and I think those type of guys, you know, really push, you know, say your top players to be even better. Is that where you say you can learn about players in the postseason more than say in a regular season? You know, it's a it's a great opportunity because you don't you only get a few chances in a playoff game. Um, you know, the season's 82 games. Your playoff series a lot smaller, and and you're getting to play the same team over and over. So, um, you know, you can see how a player can adapt and a player can kind of weave his way through a a tough series. You know, a lot of the players on the Rangers. Uh, what kind of pushback you think you'll get Saturday? I think a pushback that any team would expect when your back's up against the wall. And uh, we know that uh, we, we need to play our best game. Thank you. Thank you.